Microsoft Outlook offers many functionalities to simplify your everyday planning with the help of the calendar functionality. For most purposes, the built-in calendar is more than enough. However, in certain cases, you may want to work with multiple calendars. One example can be that you have a Google account and there you have a calendar and you want to be able to see appointments from your Google Calendar in Microsoft Outlook. There are different ways of connecting a Google Calendar to Outlook, but if you from Outlook want to see the latest changes in your Google Calendar, you have to subscribe to it. In order to subscribe to your Google Calendar, go to your calendar in your browser and click the three dots next to the calendar you want to subscribe to and then click on Settings and Sharing. In this example, we want to subscribe to the main calendar of Lift Your Skill. When the Settings page has opened, scroll down to the Integrate Calendar section. There you will see some fields with different links. Find the field called Secret Address in iCal format. This will be the only field not displaying a link, but only dots or asterisks. Click on the Copy button. Now we have to add this calendar to Outlook. There are also different ways of doing that, but perhaps the simplest is to go to your calendar and then right click on the My Calendars item and click on Add Calendar and then From Internet. Alternatively, you can also go to File, Info, Account Settings, Account Settings and then click on the Internet Calendars tab. If you click on New, you will get the same prompt as with the first alternative. In both cases, simply paste the value copied from your Google Calendar. When you click OK, a new dialog will open asking you to provide some more details on how you want to see this calendar in Outlook. The first field is called Folder Name. The value you enter here will determine under what name your calendar will show in Outlook. You can also add a description to this calendar. Additionally, you can decide whether this calendar should be visible on other computers if you log on with the same username as you are logged on now. Finally, you can decide whether you want to download attachments for events in the calendar you subscribe to and also indicate whether you want to follow the publisher's recommendations for update limits. In most cases, putting ticks in all three boxes is the best option. If you click OK, a new calendar will be added to the Other Calendars section. If you subscribe to your Google Calendar by right-clicking on My Calendars or Other Calendars, then the first prompt will be the same as with the other option, but when you paste your Google Calendar's address and click OK, then you will see a different dialog where you can confirm the subscription. However, if you click on Advanced, you will see the dialog where you can define this calendar's properties in Outlook. Interestingly enough, if you right-click on My Calendars when creating the subscription, the calendar will be added to My Calendars and not to other calendars, as in the other case. You can at any time move calendars between sections, so even if the calendar you subscribe to was added to the wrong section, you can always move it to the right place simply by dragging it. In order to see the contents of particular calendars, you have to mark them in the list on the left-hand side of the screen. When you put a tick in the checkbox next to a calendar, it will appear on the right-hand side of the screen next to the already existing calendars. As long as you work with the day, work week or week views of your calendar, this is still workable up to three calendars, but with more calendars or with month view, it becomes very difficult to read. You can, however, work around this problem and see entries from all your calendars in one view. In order to do so, right-click on one of the additional calendars in the list on the left-hand side of the screen and pick Overlay. This will cause entries in that calendar to be displayed in the same view as your main calendar. This is very usable if you want to ensure that your planning does not collide with any events in the other calendars. For instance, here we have the United States Holidays calendar that got automatically added by Outlook during installation. If you want to ensure that your plans do not collide with any activities planned in the other calendars, by overlaying you can see both calendars at the same time. Here you can clearly see that the 8th of November is the election day, so you should not plan anything else then. You can also distinguish between your calendars by defining different colors for them. This way, even if they are overlaid in one view, you'll be able to easily see which calendar particular events are coming from. 
To change the color of your calendar, simply right click on it in the list on the left hand side of the screen and pick color and then choose the color you want. You can also move events between your calendars. If you have an event in one calendar and want to move it to another calendar, then you have to open it and then click on File, Move to Folder. Then pick the calendar you want to move it to. If you do not see your calendar, then click Other Folder. There you'll see all folders visible in Outlook. Internet calendars are at the bottom of the list. You may have to unfold this note. If you pick Copy to Folder from the list showing when clicking on Move to Folder, then you'll be able to pick the calendar you want to copy your event to. Outlook will then create a copy there, but will keep your event in the current calendar too. Be sure to check our future videos to learn more about how to work with Microsoft Outlook and other applications.